my channel and today we are going to be doing rock painting with my dear friend Sloan as another collab. Um, if you like this video now or even like this video later, make sure to smash that like button in the face and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. And subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> Get into the detail work. Oh wait, no. We're just getting to the base coats. <laughs> So now me and Sloan are just doing the simple base coats of our rocks. Well, actually, Sloan's isn't very simple because she is doing ombre. Mm. And I'm actually moving on to my detail work already, which is a surprise because I thought it would take a lot longer, but no. And Sloan is working on her ombre for the background. And yeah. I finished with my first rock. Sorry, you can't see it yet. But I'm going to be moving on to my second rock. This one. And I'm just going to be finishing this rock. Because it's going to take a long, long time. So now I'm working on my second base coat for my next rock. And if you couldn't guess, Sloan is doing Pikachu. Which is a really cute character from Pokemon, and I'm doing something summer style. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Okay, now I'm going to be painting my third rock. And this is the final product of this one. It's a little wave. And then this one. Piece. Oh, 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 no. So that was Sloan, Sloan's mom calling her during the filming, but. That didn't stop us from keep painting that ro our rocks. So Sloan is still working on the Pikachu while I'm on my third base coat of yellow. And now Sloan is working on the rosy cheeks for Pikachu and eventually the face. And if you couldn't guess, I'm doing a nice dots. Oh, now I'm on my fourth rock. And oh, Sloan's on to her second. Wow. So, I'm doing a gold base coat? Well, that'll change in the, in the next film. So, now you can see that I'm changing it to a nice yellow background. Or base, ba yeah, base coat. Can't talk. Base coat. And then I will be showing you guys what I did. So, someone eventually had to leave social went not be showing up in the ending when you get to see when I say bye thanks for watching blah 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 so she won't be there it'll just be me so here are the finished products of these rocks this is my M&M rock. It's just like with a little bite taken out of it. Here is my peace rock. It's just purple in the background with some polka dots and then peace sign and with peace. <laughs> this is my summer rock. It's sort of similar to the thing I did on the bin for my first video, but different. This is the random polka dot rock. Here are Sloan's finished products. There's only one. <laughs> so this is a Pikachu rock. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And ring the notification bell so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Well, this video isn't over actually. So I hope you didn't leave. But I'm doing a bonus for you guys. I'm going to be doing a read aloud. So that's right. You know those other videos I do. I'm going to be doing reading a chapter just in this um, video. So I hope you guys enjoy so that. I'm going to be reading chapter four of the Where is the Great Barrier Reef? So this is Creatures of the Reef. From the tiniest algae to the largest whales, thousands of species of animals live in the Great Barrier Reef. Each serves a purpose in the community. More than 1,700 species of fish live in the Great Barrier Reef. 
The Queensland grouper is one of the largest, weighing more than a thousand pounds. The grouper's mouth is so huge it can swallow sharks and rays whole. But there's only there's one tiny fish that the grouper lets into its mouth and does not eat. The tiny blue straight cleaner Rossi swims into in and out of the grouper's mouth, eating dead skin and parasites. Every now and then it vibrates <coughs> its fins against the inside of the grouper's mouth. It's reminding the grouper not to swallow it. Grouper with the Rossi. Here are some pictures. <coughs> Other large animals like manta rays and sea turtles, even fearsome moray eels, also use the Rossi's cleaning service. The Rossi actually dances in the water to call attention to itself and bringing it animals into its cleaning station. Like the relationship between coral pulps and the microalgae, the cleaner Rossi and its clients each get something they need. These relationships exist all over the Great Barrier Reef. For example, goby fish and pistol shrimp live together in small burrows in the sand. <coughs> Gobies can see very well, but shrimp are almost blind. When outside the burrow, a shrimp uses its long antennae, antennae to stay in contact with the goby. If the goby sees danger coming, it flaps its tails and swims into the burrow, and the shrimp follows it in. In return, the shrimp digs the burrow and keeps the goby's home clean. With the ever-shifting sands, it is a big job. Clownfish and sea anemones also have a sy symbo symbiotic relationship. The sea anemone is a relative of the cor relative. Sorry, I pronounced that word wrong. A relative of the coral pulp. It has a po poisonous tentacle which it uses to attract and eat fish. But the clownfish is immune to the anemone's sting. This means the sting does not affect it. The clownfish makes the sea anemone its home. It is protected by from other fish that might get stung by the anemone. In return, the clownfish eats the anemone's old, dead tentacles and keeps the area clean. The sea anemone even feeds on clownfish poop. That's right. The clownfish also chases away fish that want to eat the anemone. The coral reef itself provides food and shelter for many animals. Crabs, octopuses, and eels live in its nook and cranies. Sorry, I'm just checking how many more pages there. Crabs, octopuses, and eel live in its nooks and crannies. During the day, groups of white tips rest in caves and on sandy ocean floors. But at night, they hunt. Even in the dark, they can find their prey using their keen sense of smell. Parrotfish have a trick for escaping the sharks. They cover up by their smell by ble bleaching out a bubble of mucus. They surround themselves within this spit bubble. Th then they go to sleep for the night. Does this always work? No. Besides having a superb sense of smell, sharks can also detect tiny movements in the water. The slender white tip sharks are also very flexible. Whenever they find prey, they can wriggle into small cracks of the, in the reef. The fish don't ha stand a chance. It's not just sharks that, in, that fish want to watch out for. The cone snail is a small but deadly fish eater. Using its sense of smell, it sneaks up on little fish as they sleep. When it gets close enough, the snail releases a chemical, drugging the fish so it can't move. Next. The fish is swallowed alive, and a barb inside the snail kills the fish with a shot of poison. Some cone snails shoot a harpoon-like spear at the prey, then pull the fish into their mouth. There are more than 6, 600 species of cone snails in the world, 
about 120 live around the Great Barrier Reef. 100 different types of poison exist in each species of cone snail. Some of these toxins can kill a person, but they can also help people. Scientists around the world are studying cone snails. The toxins are used to treat diseases and make medicines. The Great Barrier Reef is also home to ocean giants. The whale shark is the largest fish in the world. It grows up to more than 40 feet long and weighs as much as three full-grown African elephants. Despite its size, the whale shark is a gentle giant. Although its, its mouth contains more than 300 rows of teeth, it doesn't eat most sea creatures. That's because the whale shark is a filter feeder. It feeds on krill, plankton, algae, and tiny fish by opening its enormous mouth and pumping water in through its gills. Filter, filters on the inside of the gills catch its food. Besides whale sharks, actual whales are also found around the Great Barrier Reef. From May to September, humpback whales leave the icy waters of Antarctica to visit the area. They come to the Great Barrier Reef to give birth. They raise their calves in the, great, in the reef's warm waters. Other species of whales that live around the reef include sperm, killer, and false killer whales. Dolphins live here, too. The Australian snubfin, bottlenose, and spotted dolphins. Many species of reptiles live around the Great Barrier Reef, including 14 species of sea snakes. A sea snake looks a lot like a snake you would find on land, except its tail is shaped like a paddle. This helps it swim better. It can swim underwater for up to two hours without coming up for air. How is it able to do this? It has a large, powerful lung. Its lung is almost as long as an entire body. Sea snakes are extremely poisonous, but rarely bite people. In addition to sea snakes, six species of turtles are found on the Great Barrier Reef. The olive ridley turtle is the smallest, weighing around 100 pounds. Leatherback turtles are the largest and can be more than sorry more than 1,500 pounds. Sea turtles spend most of their lives in the water, eating algae, seagrass, shrimps, crabs, and jellyfish. But once a year, thousands of them come to the beach and islands of the Great Barrier Reef to lay their eggs. With its front flippers, the female turtle pulls itself slowly up to the beach and is looking for the perfect spot to make her nest. The sand can't be too powdery or too dry. Sea turtles dig out a nest with its back flippers. For the next 20 minutes, it will lay around 120 eggs. Finally, it covers them up with sand and returns to the water. The temperature inside the nest determines whether the turtles will be born male or female. Cooler nests make males, warmer ones mean females. The eggs take two to three months to hatch. After a couple of days of digging, the baby sea turtles have emerged and straight into the ocean. The water may be close by, but the trip is dangerous for the two long inch babies. Birds and crabs love to eat the hatchlings. So, for, unfortunately, I have run out of time, and I will read you the rest on the next read aloud for my next video. So, I hope you guys did actually enjoy the video, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe, blah, 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 like I say every video. And I'll see you guys again next week. Bye!